Hello everybody, I am E. Krishnara Patro. Today, we will see one application on Java. How to convert a Roman number into integers. So, to solve this problem, what type of logic you would apply, we will see. Now. This is one of the important problems in the lead code also. So, if you want to convert the Roman number into integer, then you should know various Roman symbols. There are seven Roman symbols are there. Those symbols you should know first. Once you know the symbols, then you can convert Roman to integer. I e stands for value 1. Similarly, V the value 5. X the value is 10. And L, L is 50. So, the Roman people, they are using various symbols. For every symbol, there is a corresponding value. These are the values. Similarly, for C, the value is 100. Similarly, for D, the value is 500. And for M, the value is 1000. These are the seven unique symbols. These symbols you have to use for the corresponding value. Now, using these symbols, you can convert into the corresponding integer. Integer means or the decimal values. So, these symbols you should know. Once you know these symbols, then you can convert. And try to know the order also. First to I, then V, then X, then L, then C, then D, then M. Totally how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These 7 varieties of symbols you should know. Of course, these things will be generally given in the system itself. So, using these symbols, then you can convert. For example, if I give 2, 2 is generally written as 2i's because i means 1, 2i means 2. Similarly, if I write 12, 12 is written as xii because here is nothing but x plus ii. x means 10, ii means 2. So, 10 plus 2 is 12. So, this is the way generally the Roman numbers are converted. Similarly, if I give number 27, the value is xxvii, xx that is 10, sorry, 10 plus 10, 20, v that is 5, then 2, that is 7. So, totally 27. So, 27 is converted in this way. Roman numerals usually written in largest to smallest form from left to right. So, when you write xvii, so, always the small will be in the rightmost and the biggest value will be leftmost. So, this is the standard or these are the rules for the Roman numbers. So, if you want to write a Roman numbers, you will follow these rules. However, the Roman numerals for 4 is not written as 4 is. That means for a 4, you cannot write like this. It is wrong. Because maximum 3 characters or 3 symbols can be used in Roman continuously. Whenever fourth one comes, then you have to convert into other form. So, this is 4 is nothing but before fifth. So, the number 4 is written as IV. Because when you reach fourth symbol, then you have to go to the next symbol, subtract the previous one. So, that you will get 4. Similarly, 9. 9 is written as IX. Because 10 means x. If you write here i, 1 will be subtracted. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. Okay. So, i can be replaced before v. So, that will get 4. Similarly, i can be also replaced 10. So, that will get 9. i v, that is 4. i x, that is 9. Fine. Similarly, x can be used before l. Because L means 50, if you write X before L, then the value becomes 40. Similarly, X can be also written before C. C is 100, X is 10. So, if you write before C, X, then that becomes 90. Similarly, C can be placed before D. Actually, C is 100. Before D, if you write, then that becomes CD, then the value becomes 400. Same C, if you write before M, then the value becomes 900. Okay. So, this is the way the Roman numbers are counted or evaluated. For example, if I write I, 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 that means the value is 3. So, integer is 3. So, you are converting the Roman number to 
it is it. Okay. Roman is 3, integer is 3. Similarly, if I write L V I I. Second example, L V I I. One more I. So L is how much? 50 plus V is how much? 5 plus the 3 i's. That is 3. So answer is 58. L V I. So answer is 58. Now go for another example. M C M. Now see M C M X C I V. Now always you would go from right to left. So this comes in this way. This is 4. This is C that is 100. Because now this is C, this become again X C. Actually C is 100, but before C X C is there, small value is there. If small value is there, you have to subtract it. So C is 100 minus 10, that is 90. Similarly, here M is there, then before that C is there. That means M is 1000, but C is 100. If you write this way, this become 900. Now M, before M, nothing is there, so 1000. So 1000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 4. So, if you add everything, then you will get 1994. So, this is the way generally the Roman symbols are evaluated. For example, I may give 35. 35 is what? My number. So, this is how you will write because 30, this is nothing but 30 plus 5. This 30 is nothing but x, x, x. 5 is nothing but v. So, if I give triple x v, my answer will be 35. 35. So, this is the way you have to evaluate. And here, the symbols, I told you, there are totally 7 unique symbols. These symbols you can use to evaluate. Write in order so that you get it. And generally, the valid numbers, because we know up to 1000, so maximum 3 M's you can use and minimum is 1. So, 1 to 3999 you can use. Okay. Now, how to write this particular problem in Java? So, if you want to write in Java, so first of all, you have to know the corresponding symbol with value. So, you have to map it. So, for mapping purpose, there is a hash map concept. The hash map is like a dictionary. It is mapping key with value. This i is mapped with 1 and v mapped with 5. Like this up to m. m mapped with 1000. So, for that, there is a built in class called hash map. So, use a hash map. The hash map will take two things one is key, second one is value. So, it takes key value pair. For every key, you will get a corresponding value. So, for storing these values, that we key with value, there is a method called put method. So, you can put what key and what value. So, how many are there? Totally 7 symbols. So, write 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then this one 7. Totally 7 mappings then. How? With the help of the hash map. After that, Whatever the symbols you are given means the string, S is my Roman string, that Roman string I have to evaluate to integer. So, character by character I have to evaluate. So, for that what I will do, always while converting from Roman string to integer, you will come from right to left. Why? Because I told you, while coming from right to left, if its previous value is smaller than this current value, then you have to subtract. That means, the right side value must be always smaller. Because it goes from left to right, from left, it should come in an increasing order. If it is not following increasing order, then you have to subtract it. So, for that, I will check from right to left. While coming from right to left, if my previous value is small, then I will subtract. So, that's why, 
I have gone from right side. That means the length of the string. S dot length minus 1. Go to the last place. And take each character from the last. Then get the corresponding value. How will you get the corresponding value? From my map. So, Roman map is my map. If you give the character, then that will be the corresponding value. If this value is less than my previous value, then what I will do? Subtract. If the current value less than my previous value, then subtract it. Otherwise, add it. Otherwise, add it. Now, after that, I am assigning the current value to my previous value because repeatedly I am updating. Take this value, do it. Take this value, do it. So, at the end of the loop, I will get my corresponding result. Fine. Now, let us implement in a Java program. Now, this hash map and all available under a package called util package. Let me import or question is what? Convert Roman string into integer. Roman string into integer. I, I need what? One package import java dot util dot stop. Okay, I have imported. Then I will write a class Roman int this is the name of the class inside the class I will write my method what method how to convert the roman symbol to integer so I will write a method public this method should return the corresponding value so it is integer and the name of the method is roman to integer and here I will pass the string the s this method will do the things now I will write my main method public static world main string argument array now here I will call my roman to it but this method I want to call directly so, if you want to call directly, I will put a static. This method requires what? One S. This S I will read it. So, I will use scanner plus scanner SC equal to new scanner system dot in. Okay. Here I will ask the user system dot out dot println enter Roman string. Enter the Roman string. <coughs> now I have to read it. How to read it? So define a string s equal to s e dot next. So I am getting a string. After getting the string, this is my Roman string. This string I will pass to that method Roman to integer. This method I will call here with parameter s. Once I pass, that will return the value. So I will return the value v. Now print that v. System dot out dot print ln. The integer value. The integer value equal to plus v. So whatever the value is returned, that value I will print. Now our goal is write the logic for this. So, here what I will do? Here, I will write my logic. First, I will write my map. The map method is part of my util package. Already util package available. So, here I will map every character because the Roman characters with value integer. CHA or it is character with integer. The Roman map. This is my mapping. 
because for every character I have to map its corresponding value. This equal to new new hash map okay now every roman symbol you have to map with the corresponding integer value already we wrote that one so i will simply take this one now i will take this value and return this as this value is already there so yeah now mapping integer this with you read this one so first one second roman third roman fourth roman <coughs> okay the roman map i'm mapping so these are up to this the roman values are mapped after that you have to read character by character initially my result is zero because nothing is there and previous value is zero previous value why i am maintaining because while traversing from right to left because right side value must be small if its value is still less its previous is previous is more but here previous is less the right side is more then you have to subtract it so for that purpose i am maintaining the previous value so here if you observe here here initially so the loop start from right to left goes from this so here i am traversing control x so traverse from from right to left while traversing from right to left i am taking each character after taking the character, this character having the Roman value, that Roman value I will get from the Roman map. So get the corresponding Roman value, means integer value of the character. After that, I will check the previous value. If this current value is less than previous value, then what I will do? If the current value is less than its previous value, then because here, assume here I V. Here, if you write i with v, then v is greater. In the current value is 5, but the previous value is 1. So, in that case, you have to subtract. So, for that purpose, what I am doing here, I am checking whether this value is less or not. If this current value is less, then I am subtracting. Here, I am subtracting this value. Result equal to result minus current value. If at all current value is not less that means either equal or more in that case simply add it simply add it so now current value is added if it is more then after that the current value become the previous value because it will be repeating till end of the string once the loop is over once the loop is over then you will get the complete result that result is returned So, once the result is returned, then print it. Let us print it. Roman twin. Name of the class is Roman twin. Control C, Control S, Control V, dot Java. Fine. Now, I will compare it. Java C Roman to int dot Java. So now it is compiled. Now Java Roman to int. Yeah. Now it is asking enter the Roman symbol. Assume I am entering I I I. So the answer is three. Similarly, if I enter assume I V. This is four. Similarly, if I enter xx iv, so here expecting the given Roman symbol should be valid one. 
because here we are not uh, checking whether given row one symbol Riemann string is valid or not. So you are assuming that you are given proper Riemann string. Assume here I am entering C C C triple C that is three hundred. Similarly, assume I am entering M M X M M X that means two thousand ten. So this is the way it evaluates. So the fellow who is giving the input, he must know the valid Roman symbols means Roman string. Once the string is valid, then you will get the proper answer. So this is the way you can evaluate. So please know this one. This is for mapping. That means this is acting like a dictionary for every key. What the value is there? Then here this loop repeats from right to left while coming from right to left it will check whether the current value is less than its previous value because you are coming from right to left if the current value is less than its previous value then subtract it if it is not less that means you have to add it so this value this is subtracting here it is adding that means the current value is there. because in the roman symbol always from left to right it goes in increasing order goes in a increasing order once all the symbols are over <coughs> all the symbols are over then complete string is over then result will be available if what are you are giving some symbols other than i v l c d m then you will not get the correct answer so here so you have to check given roman string should be valid one so this is the way it evaluates of course you can print also here enter the roman string with the characters what are the characters i is there v is there x is there l is there c is there d is there m is there so these are the valid symbols so enter roman string with this characters so that you will not have any confusion while reading data now yeah now you get it assume i got m m c m m c m m means 1000 c means 100 So while going from right to left, after M C is coming, that means what you have to subtract because the previous value is more. So in that case, you will subtract. Then again M is coming. So this is thousand. This is nine hundred. So thousand nine hundred. So this is the way it evaluates. I hope it is clear. So this way you have to write the program. So this is the main logic for this. and for that you are using which class there is a built in class called hash map this hash map is a part of util package and there is interface called map interface of course here also you can write hash map also there is nothing wrong as map this way also you can write because directly you are getting object into it now let us run here and i will print the value also s Roman symbol S. Let me run. No Java C. Roman two. It is a compile it. Java. Roman two int. Yes. Assume. Yum C D. M C D. That is M means a two thousand. C is hundred. D is five hundred. But before D, C has come. That is small. So five hundred minus hundred. That is four hundred. So thousand plus four hundred. Thousand four hundred. So this is the way it works. So it is saying M C D value is. I am printing the first Roman string. Then I am printing the integer value. That is fourteen hundred. So this way you can evaluate. I hope it is clear. so please follow this logic to evaluate
you are roman stick to it is a will okay so thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates